So recently, I have been replaying one of my favorite games, New Super Mario Bros., and I remembered that there are minigames included. If you haven't played any of these minigames, they are absolute masterpieces. And while I was replaying one of my favorite minigames, I got an idea. The minigame I am talking about is called Wanted. The idea of the game is simple. A character who is wanted is shown, and your task is to find and click on the character before the time runs out. If you press the wrong character, then you lose precious time, but if you press the correct character, you gain 5 seconds of time. Now it starts off extremely easy, but it gets difficult very quickly. So my idea is to write a program to use image recognition to try to automatically find and click on the wanted character, but I have no idea how this is going to go. I guess to start I should pick some tools for this project. Normally I use C++ for my projects, but for this I'm going to use Python because Python has everything we need. I'm going to use a library called PyAutoGUI to take screenshots of the game and to move the mouse around. And for processing the screenshots, I'll use PIL, the Python image library. So first, let's get some code going to take some screenshots. Alright, so now we have some basic code to take screenshots of the game while it is running. I have it split right now into two separate screenshots, one for the top screen of the DS and one for the bottom. I could display the screenshot by typing the name of the screenshot, dot show, and as you can see it works. So the way this program is going to detect anything is that I will provide the program with images of all four of the characters, being Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Yoshi. And depending on which one is found on the top screen, aka the wanted character, the bottom screen is then searched for the corresponding character icon. To test if the code can recognize anything at all, I'm going to use a function in PyAutoGUI called locate that will attempt to find the image within a base image and return the bounding box if one is located. So I'll loop through all of the characters and then pass the image in of the character into the function, along with the screenshot. And there is an argument to the function called confidence that determines how close a matched image must be to the original. In this case, it doesn't need to be super accurate, so I'll set it to about 90%. Now let's print out the bounding box of the image and see what we get. Dang it. Well, it is not working at all, and that is because we have a problem. If we put the screenshot of the top screen next to one of the character textures, you could see that the screenshot is just too big. And since they are completely different sizes, there is no chance that Pi Auto GUI can match the image to the screenshot. So we need to scale down the screenshot for this to work. Since the original DS has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels, I have to divide the size of the screenshot by the amount that the image is upscaled by. In my case, it is 3 and 3 quarters. So I decided to add this attribute to a properties file, and then load in the information once the program is run. And with the screenshots now the correct size, it is finally giving me an output now. With this information, we now know which character is wanted at any given time. So the next thing to do is to search the bottom screen for the corresponding character icon. This is quite similar to before, except that once we get a bounding box from the locate function, we find the center of it, and then click on it with the mouse. So let's test it out. Oh come on, Luigi's right there! So the code works good until the character icons start to overlap. The problem is that if the icon isn't by itself, the edges get filled up with pixels from the other icons, preventing the program from finding it. Now you might think the solution to this is to reduce the confidence argument in the locate function, but reducing it only increases the chance that it clicks on the wrong character by accident. So we need a new idea. Instead of looking for the entire icon at once, let's instead search for parts of the icon. If we look at a situation like this, the only way where we can tell where Luigi is is by looking at the bottom part of the icon, where his chin is located. So what I have done is created what I like to call sub-icons. Each icon gets split up into an array of slices, and then when the program is run, if it cannot find the entire icon, it then searches for subsections of the icon instead. So let's put this idea to the test.
mission failed. We'll get them next time. Alright, so we seem to have a new problem. If I ask the program to display the sub-icon used during this altercation, something becomes clear, or unclear depending on how you see it. It seems that some of the sub-icons are identical to each other, causing the program to click on the wrong character by accident. So I wrote a simple function to remove any duplicate sub-icons if they happen to match each other close enough. So now let's see how far this program can go. I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! I'm so happy it was able to make it to level 100. It actually went a little bit further and ended up dying on level 107. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.